know YouTube, Great RJ1 here, and today I'm going to be telling you how to be better at Django Fit. And yes, we are on Camino. This was not meant to actually be anything on purpose, but still, we got Bubba Fett and Django on Camino. Now we'll be going over what skins, how to unlock him, uh, how to best use him. How you should use these attacks, what is it what its attacks are, and so on. Now, like most of the characters that are able to fly, not counting lightsaber characters, he needs stemia, which is often not really needed. Now, snow skins are needed. Just keep in mind that the skins don't really matter, none of them change him to be more Sith-like or Jedi-like for that matter. So it's it's just so unme it's just highly unrecommended. Now, his movement is where he shines, shall we say. Well, not exactly his movement, but more or less his jetpack, as he can shoot while in the air which is so helpful it's more easier to do them if you're in first person that's at least from my experience just keep in mind that he's one that should always be used in the air never on the ground and try to only and try to use him at long range if you're having and he's always a character that should be used at long range, no matter the situation. Now, the abilities I recommend are the following, jetpack and poison dart. The dart is going to pretty much deal 2 damage for a, for a certain amount of time, but sometimes this can be an absolute lifesaver just because on how good it can be to use it now keep keep in mind that he can be used without using without being on the ground but it's just way more effective to use him not on the ground than on the ground just because it makes you a more of an annoying target to hit especially for characters that use a lightsaber and half the time will not be able to get you down because they will not, because sometimes they will not have an ability that can bring you down. The weaknesses for him being in the air are always being, are the following, being the only weaknesses he has in the air against characters that can actually bring him down are the following force abilities. These are very annoying to a player that have trouble trying to, that are trying to get away or trying to shoot and then all of a sudden they decide to pull off a force ability that's like force pull, force push uh, and then you have to face them on the ground until it's till your jetpack's recharged or something like along those lines slash like that just keep that in mind because it's better off either on team play if you're staying on ground or in the air if you're not trying to team play. I, if you're still new and not really good at trying to fly and you need, I recommend trying to fly. Uh, now, and many matches you'll play up heroes versus fins. Not many, but some will have your enemy team sponking you. Sometimes it will be the other way around, but this is so annoying, which is why you need to get off the ground as quick as you can with Django. Django is more of a character on stay off the ground, but still fight. His jetpack is also very useful for getting away. Uh, you can also get extra stamina if you're using your jetpack. Uh, and you're also, and then you're getting also the... Uh, what is it? And then you get extra stamina for being the target if you're playing VIP. 
but keep in mind if the enemy team spawn killing you you want to get off the ground as fast as you can which you can pretty much do immediately as soon as you spawn for an example this now you may have to get your weapons up while you're in the air as you'll if you're getting spawn killed most if not half the time you cannot act you'll have to have to equip your abilities right after them so just keep in mind if you ever get spawn killed just wait until another round to actually do much better anyway Django is very helpful if you actually have decent or good aim uh, and you can actually shoot and hit now I can't I'm not the best with that but if I play Rex or Django a lot more I probably will Django is probably one of my favourite characters with with a gun to use just because of how easy he can be done now I forgot to go over how to unlock him you need to complete all three obbies which if you're not good at obbies but you have a friend or a family member or something like that that's good at obbies then and you and you can't get past any of the obbies or like one of them or two of them or all three of them just ask you just ask somebody if to do it if it's somebody who's got at obbies and they can actually come to you i then have them then ask them and if they say yes then you can actually get django so yeah and yes i did complete the obbies anyway you can i'd recommend using either his flamethrower rocket which i don't know what rocket does i think it sends out like an explosive rocket poison darts or whip cords and then always keep jetpack on that's the only spe that's the only special ability he has so i don't think you can actually take that off so anyway yeah that's it's very very helpful and always recommended i think gold I think yellow means a. What I, I don't know what it means. I think it means something like legendary or something like that. I haven't gotten a legendary in a while, so I would know. <laughs> anyway, it's very nice to have on your team if you know how to use him. Now I'll just use Rex for now because that's pretty much the only character I'm good at that I'm at, that's I've got close to being as good at with uh, Django. So. Also, I found that with his explosive, sh with his explosive shots, you sort of can't aim at the actual character, and you actually have to aim at just below them or at their feet or whatever it is. With Rex's explosive shots, otherwise you won't actually get. Otherwise, you'll either miss. It won't hit them, or yeah. So that's what I've found at least. Also, if you do activate the explosive shots, try to use them in a way where it's uh, where you can actually when you know when to use them. Because if you use them too soon and that you can't actually hit anybody or somebody gets a kill just as he turns it on, this will be very uh oh sorry Vader, sorry if I was bothering you both so I thought that it was like the entire enemy team up there so I guess we're going off to Vader now however it ex Rex's explosive shots are very helpful and I know I just went I've now gone on to something completely off Django anyway Django can be used but just keep in mind that if you're going to use him, you probably want to have decent aim and flying. I recommend practicing with his aim. If anything, I recommend practicing them in. In. This will sound really funny. Uh, in the practice area. It may not be funny to you, but it's sort of like a joke. Not with not intended to be a joke because it's you're practicing in the practice area. Area. So. 
Anyways, explosive shots for X, very powerful if you know how to use them. Anyways, yep. He's very. Django's recommends this highly if you are using pretty much if you are trying to use him effectively and if you know how to actually use him in the air he's not like a character that has explosive shots like Rex so you can't really replace one of his abilities to have explosive shots because he does not have that as one of his abilities sadly but he's very helpful when he does come in hand help hell helpful <laughs> my rocket boots didn't work also I found that certain abilities uh, you, or sometimes you actually need to press a button twice to actually have them happen also if you're wondering how certain abilities work and you're not and you're not getting the full effect of the of the ability some abilities require you to hold down the button yeah that really got me as well when i was playing with a power button and it was using this default lightning that was really making me wonder on how other people were actually using it for a longer duration because yeah anyways when you know how to hold the button down Ability, sense and abilities will be way more useful than they ever was. But if you have trouble trying to uh, shoot in the air, do not worry. Just try not to worry, uh, or do not worry, whatever. So, because you can just get better in the practice area. You can do it in the practice area, and you can. I was pressing Q, but the ability wasn't working. Was I the target? I wasn't the target. I don't think. I didn't see anybody else being the target. If you were watching, if you were a part in this video. Uh, and you're watching this then just tell me if you are pre tell me if I was the target because I do not know oh Vader Vader <laughs> and yet I haven't been able to get an explosive kill yet I don't think just keep in mind anybody who knows how to fly shoot they're going to be extremely deadly and very annoying to try and kill. I always find fighting off a Boba Fett or a Rex really annoying because it's as soon as you get close to them, they will just fly away and will be very annoying, which is why I hate going up against them. So, However, yes, Django is very helpful. I always recommend trying to use him if you know how to fly shoot. Yes, I'm calling it that. Pretty much a fly shoot is when you turn on your flying ability, if you have a flying ability, uh, and then shooting. For Rex, it's not really as a big deal unless you don't have his uh, like explosive shoots on, their shots, whatever. If you don't have the explosive shoot shots on for Rex, then it's morally recommended that if you don't have the explosive shots for Rex on, then try and use his. Uh, then you have to try and learn more on his uh, on how to use his gun. But most of the time, you don't really need to learn how to use a gun if you have his explosive shots on. Uh, but most of the time, his explosive shots will be much more useful. So, just keep that in mind. And I know I'm going over a lot of Rex in the Django Fett video, which I know is not meant to be happening like that, but still, it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, I might actually end up joining a different server just so I can actually. 
get some more of Django because I actually put on this. I actually bought every single game pass in the game, uh, and I and I have two times feelings on, and I'm still not actually. I haven't got Django since that round we we were on. I've not been on feelings since the beginning of this round, which since the beginning of this video, which you did see, but still. Let me just check the chat real quick. It had gone from 30 to, uh, I think it was 60 to real quick, real quick, so. I'm only really playing Rex because he's the character I have got the closest to being as close as with Django, so that's what the, that's the only reason why I'm playing as Rex. Anyway, if you're playing as a gunner, you might want to try and if they have it, always I always recommend trying to equip their explosive shots. I know, I think if I remember correctly, Rex is not the only character to have explosive shots. So, just try to remember that I always recommend using reinforcements for characters without lightsaber but never recommend using reinforcements for characters that don't have a that do have a lightsaber characters with a lightsaber just don't need it you may to you they may be good but they are just very weak most of them can be taken down in like one shot with an explosive i mean no with a lightsaber and overall are just so weak and are really ne unnecessary to have for a lightsaber character which is why I never ever recommend using them and half the time when I see and it's um, most of the time I've seen many people using lightsaber characters with reinforcements and it's just so unnecessary to the point where it's it's just not needed I see them being they are now I found them so overrated I see them at least once a day now which is ridiculous compared to how I used to how they used to be because let's just say most of the time it was not that actually ridiculous uh, most of the time people wouldn't be using reinforcements but those times have gone, so... Yeah. Those times have gone, and you'll probably not see them again for, like, a long time, or they will never actually come back. If it also bothers you, don't worry. We, you don't have to normally fight the reinforcements. So I just try to ignore the reinforcements, unless it's... Unless they're actually that... Unless I'm actually low in health or I'm finding a hard time trying to defeat that character without get defeating their reinforcements. That's what I found at least. Uh, so I try to ignore the reinforcements but I try to not act as if they're not there because they sort of will deal extra damage to you. But just keep in mind that yeah, they will be very helpful but only if you're using a gun if you're not using a gun I I cannot I I just can't recommend them they're just so unnecessary and if you're not using a gun then yeah and the gun and it's gonna be absolutely useless if you're trying to use Palpatine's lightning strategy as one he needs his spin attack to actually get to use Demio without actually using it aka gets more speed which I think actually does more speed and he needs that to actually do, do more speed which is needed so he needs the Palpatine he cannot actually win no he can't he has no a special lightning attack which makes him really annoying and I know you can sometimes get kills with reinforcements, but 90% of the time you will not be getting those kills with reinforcements. 
and most of the time you'll just have your enemy team defeating you which is something that you do not really well at least your reinforcements which is something you do not want which is why you should never use reinforcements on characters that use the lightsaber and also don't use them if you're using my lightning strategy with Palpatine because if you put down his on you cannot actually use his lightning strategy because his because his reinforcements take place on his lightning abilities and before you go thinking oh but I can put a I can put a lightning on his secondary ability you can't there's no lightning ability for his secondary ability and chain lightning or his default lightning is just a, enough just is enough power as it is so which is why you should not really ever use them unless it's which is why you should not put reinforcements on unless you're wanting to if, unless you absolutely need them which is why so unless the only time i recommend putting on reinforcements is if you're new to the game you're trying to get better at it but you're still a bit bad at it or you're still bad at it then I recommend putting on reinforcements until you get better and feel like you don't need them as much now. Until you don't need them as much. But unless, but other than those situations, I just ha I just can't recommend them for lightsaber users. But I can recommend I can recommend them for characters that use a gun. And there's some characters just don't need reinforcements despite them being despite them using a gun. So. Like Rex with his explosive gun. I thought I was using Rex for a second, <laughs> which is why I did did those. Ex which is why I thought I was using an explosive shot, despite me not actually being able to, despite me not actually using one. Now I'm pretty bad at trying to aim kill in the air because I'm just how fast the movement is which is something that you need to really master if you're having a hard time try and fly to one location have a lot of stamina and then free then don't move anywhere in the air uh, and if you're thankfully if your enemy's not moving you should have an easy time trying to get rid of them just make sure you have a lot if not all your stamina otherwise just be sure to say just be sure that you'll run out uh, and you will not be able to recover it, shall we say, until you stop using it for anything. So yeah. Running drains your stamina, so that's why with Palpatine I recommend his spin ability. Just keep in mind that also his... Uh, just keep in mind that Palpatine's spin ability is quite limit. It's does not make him faster. I think that's what I think it is, and it most certainly seems like it does. But yeah, but yeah. So anyways, if you take the tips I've you have that I've said in this video and you want to try and make them into an even better strategy feel free to so which is what you can do on all the strategy videos guides things whatever you want to call them but do do keep in mind that his jetpack that Django's jetpack is not as necessary if you're facing a character that uses a gun uh, but if you're if it, they're getting out they're just but if they're getting a bit too if they're getting a bit too far away for comfort but your poison dart is in their range use it because that will deal two damage and like you just saw it will it just saved me so or at least that's what you could say also if you try and shoot an enemy from behind then yeah they i don't think they have any way on blocking if they are blocking so do keep that in mind okay now we need to head over here yeah over there this will be a long round anyway yeah 
try if your enemy is staying still then i recommend uh, flying in the air and not moving because yeah just because on how useful that is also try if you if you need to escape use your jetpack highly recommended using your jetpack if you need to escape so yeah just keep in mind that i don't think holding the spring button and jetpack button will actually speed him up i think he just keeps him at the same speed as he's already going but do keep in mind if you're at a full stemia bar he can pretty much fly for a full stemia bar that's from what i think i've seen so far so if you have a full stemia bar expect to pretty much be able to fly for an entire stemia bar which is something like two one seconds but that's one or two seconds travels you an extreme distance and yeah it's just very helpful because you can travel an extreme distance and yeah just keep in mind if you're going to use the jetpack try not to actually uh run because if you do you're gonna have you're not gonna be able to pretty much pre you're not gonna be you don't have any stemia to actually use your jetpack and stemia is vital for your jetpack because that's the thing that allows you to fly and keep in mind that if you play Battlefront 2 a lot, you may get better, but still. Django is one of the easier characters to play as if you if you want to have a dark side starter character. You can use his flamethrower, but I'd rather put his poison darts over it just because on how better it how just because on how much better it works so i can't recommend it enough so if you enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed it because it's it's definitely a different type of series on my channel and i know i've been doing them a lot more so and if i'm correct hunting instincts instincts only shows you where enemies are by putting on a gold dot which can be helpful in certain situations but it's that situational and it's, and it's just that situational it's never recommended anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time bye